hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's jess here so if any of you guys follow me on social media but abri k makeup artist was um posting she tagged me in a post saying that to do like a one brush challenge okay <laughs> um okay i'm not gonna lie i was a bit scared um only because i use way more brushes than I probably should it's only because of like hygiene and whatever but I'm gonna do it <laughs> and I thought I'd do it um, on YouTube because I want to show you everything the process and all that kind of fun stuff the best part about it is that we can use our hands so I'm gonna obviously take my ring off but I wasn't sure if we're allowed because I'm like oh my gosh that's technically like a brush because it's your hands but she used her hands, which means I can use my hands, which means we're going to be okay. Hopefully. My hair's going through a transition. And the transition is basically from half straight, half curly to my full curls. And I've been like on Facebook group chats and everything you can imagine. <laughs> Literally every single person has told me it's going to take up to a year. So... We're going to just have a few bad hair days, but that's okay. And apparently you're not meant to tie your hair up really tight as well, which... I mean, there's just so many things that we have to do that I'm really sad about. So I'm going to just go in first with the Bobbi Brown Face Cream. I'm allowed to use this because my hands. So we're just going to put a bit more <laughs> than usual. I want to go now in with my Bobbi Brown Eye Cream. This is one of my essential products. Fine. I mean, I've never had an issue with it. I just love hydration. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to pretend like I'm doing what I would do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be taking... This is a Morphe brush. I'm so sorry, I don't know the number. But it is this little brush here. And the reason I like it is because I can make it as tight as I want it. Or I can like fluff it up. So... And I really like the Morphe brushes. I don't know if I'm going to regret this, but for now, we're going to just have to do with it. I'm going to be taking my Tatcha Face Silk. What is this? I'm going to be taking the Silk. Jeez Louise. I'm going to be taking the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And this is such a beauty. I feel like she's going to help us a lot. <laughs> We're gonna go in with the P. Louise base, and this is in Rumor. Sorry for my nose. I'm getting over being sick. Should I apply this with my finger? Yep. I'm applying this with my finger. We're gonna go in with the Zoeva palette, and I'm taking <sighs> Substitute for Love. And I'm just gonna be pressing that in. So, um, I was really sick a few days ago and I'm recovering. So, hence the voice. I'm gonna go in now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm actually going to take. Hmm. There are some really nice colors in here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Raphael. I'm gonna take a little bit of Raphael and I'm gonna be putting Raphael right on the outer part of my eye. Like that. I don't know if I did too much or not. What I am doing is I'm connecting my shadow to the 
end of my brow. <laughs> I had a minute there. To the end of my brow. And the reason I like to do that is because it just gives my eye that kind of... You know? And we all want that. I mean, not everyone, but I do. So now I am actually going to be taking the Danessa Micros Beauty. And I'm going to go in with this bronzy shade here. This is in Moonlight. And I'm going to use my hands. I've never used my fingers for this before. So this is going to be a lovely surprise for both of us. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's actually nice. I'm not mad at it. Wipes on hand. Add Girl Power. I don't know, it's a really pretty shape. And I kind of want to place this just sort of in the middle section. Okay, so I'm going in with the Jill Beauty Lashes in Charisma. Alright guys, lashes are on. I'm thinking I want a dewy kind of foundation look, so I'm going to go in with the MAC Strobe Cream in Peach White. Alright, so I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Silk Longwear Weightless Foundation, and this is in the shade Natural Tan. Take the Fasali Oil. I am going to use my fingers. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just going to be just dabbing her on. Just pretend it's like cream. I'm actually going to take two concealers. I'm taking the Too Faced and the Tarte Concealer. And they're both in different shades. This is in Natural Beige and this is in Medium Golden Tan. So I'm going to put this on first. Because this is like closer to my skin tone. I really wanted to carve out my brows um, in hope that they would look fuller. <laughs> I don't think that's such a great idea, but I'm going to give it a go. I'll do at the end. Jazz hands. Oh, is it jazz fingers? Jazz fingers. Ah, <laughs> oh, I almost went inside my Bible. Don't do that at home, kids. I'm going in with the bed, my fair translucent powder. of using the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. The reason I wanted to use this is because I really love this blush shade. I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going to lie. This is the scary part. And I have to blend this. <laughs> Maybe I'll use my finger to blend it actually. Alright guys, so this is the current situation. So I'm going to use my fingers and we're going to try and blend her out. Yeah, you should have seen my face when I actually saw it up close. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's what's happening here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a rhubarb. We're going to just start contouring her. Um, I'm going to try taking a very light hand because you know just because and I'm just gonna place her this is a light hand huh good work Jess great work and then I'm gonna go in with the hula the hula bronzer um, let me just get rid of all this pigment I'm taking such a light hand because I don't know if the excess stuff was still there. This brush feels so wet. <laughs> Alright, blending time.
This is hard to blend. Okay, I don't know if I made a mistake with this one. And it's starting to get patchy. Alright, so I'm gonna just dab it in. If we use circular motions, we might get some luck. Alright guys, so I just tried to blend my whole face using my fingers. Um, we're almost done, which is fantastic. I don't know if I should do highlight first. For highlight, I'm going to be taking Maldives. And as you can see, that is a shade I love. Very mosh. So I feel like this is like the easy part. It's just the whole blending that's throwing me off. And I'm just like... When you go really close, it's really not the best. My go-to powder is the Illamasqua powder. So I'm just going to take some on the back of this brush and hope for the best. Expecting the worst, but hoping for the best. And yes, that is from a song. What song? I... Forgot. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. I think that's really subtle and it just kind of completes the look. I'm going to do my other eye off camera and we'll be right. So everything is pretty much done except lips. So I'm going to be taking MAC Honey Love. I just thought it'd be a nice nude shade to go on. You don't need a brush to apply this. I don't know. I don't think you need a brush to apply this. So I'm going to just use <laughs> the lipstick. I'm not applying um, lip liner only because I don't know if, you know, that's too much. And then I thought I would go in with the Mecca Max Nude Lip Gloss. I really enjoy this lip gloss. Um, this is really nude for me, but I actually really like it. So by putting this nude gloss on top, it just gives it a bit of a oomph. Oh, I applied way too much, like usual. That's okay. We're done. Okay, thank you to my Morphe. I can I don't even know how I read Morphe, but I know this is a Morphe brush. So this is the final result. I will say the under eyes are the most annoyingest part because they did crease a little bit. Um, foundation was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, I will say it wasn't as difficult as I thought. Um, I do use my fingers a lot of the time. I do actually like it. So it wasn't something that I wasn't used to. Um, thank you so much to Huda Beauty because I... Oh, I have used all these a hundred times, so this really did come in handy for that kind of like glowy look, but yes. So this is the final result. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe somewhere down below and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah. Bye guys.